Hi, everyone. Welcome to Center of Balance Live. I'm Sunan Poa from Center of Balance, the acupuncturist. Thank you for joining us. Please give me a thumbs up and say hello to me. Are you here? Our topic today, hi, happy day, how are you? Our topic today is acupuncture treatment for fibroids. Acupuncture treatment for fibroids. Well, I'm doing well, thank you. Now you're here, please say hello and give a thumbs up and share this live video, please. Thank you very much. All right. All right, hi, Veronica, how are you? Mm. Thank you very much for joining us. Yeah. Let's start. Um, okay. Well, let's start straight away. So I'm going to give you some acupuncture point. I know. Acupuncture point strategy for um, treating fibroids. Right, we haven't go through how um, um, Western medicine to treat fibroid yet, but um, we're gonna go through tomorrow probably. Um, this is the strategy that we use for fibroid. Uh, as you, if the acupuncturist, you may see this already. When did we talk about this? We talk about this in PCOS. So when it comes, we have a lot of different strategy, right? This is just one of them, okay? The, the one of them is um, magical eight for OBGYN, right? Now, you may want to paint and paper to write down this point that if you've done this before, and you don't need it, okay? We ha I have uh, took a, a a photo of it uh, to post it on our, our acupuncturist uh, Facebook group, okay? And that group is only um, showing um, um, you'll be able to access to that group if you're an acupuncturist, okay? Um, yeah, so I'm going to name the point for you, and that's just one of the strategy that you can use for uh, Fireboy, PCOS and any OBGYN cases. Okay. Um, so let's on the right side. Okay. On the right side. And that is, um, if I see it, Sanjiao 4 and 1, large intestine 1 and 4. Okay. Sanjiao and large intestine 1 and 4. All right. This is what it is. Okay. Hi, Julia. How are you? Then on the right side, spleen one and four and kidney one and four. It's all one and four, you see? It's pretty easy to memorize. One and four, spleen, kidney, large intestine, and sun gel. On the left side, heart, three, seven, uh, PC, six, nine. And gallbladder 34, 41, stomach 45, 42. All right, stomach 45, 42. All right, gallbladder 34, 41. Pericardium 6, 9, heart 37. Sanjia 1, 4. Lack condition one four, spleen one four, kidney one four. Right, those are the point. 
okay, this is just one of the strategy that you can treat uh, fibroid with, with acupuncture. Um, this is we call distal point, treat the organs, okay, and the meridian. Where else can you put needles? Okay, where else can you put needles? In general, you can treat it like this, okay? You can put needle over here, lower abdominal, Zigong Guan Yuan Qi Hai, a great point for it. Okay. And the groin of a Ti Wu Hui, Ying Lian, all this point are very good for it. Okay. Now, what about Ba Liao? Ba Liao I use the most. Okay. On the local needles, needling, Ba Liao I find is the best. Okay. Needle Ba Liao. The strong sensation, <clears throat> and when is the best? Wh when is the best time for Baliao? Especially when it lead up to uh, um, period. When period juice before period due start a needle Baliao, and one during the period during bleeding, then Baliao is must. <clears throat> you must needle Baliao. Because body got a very strong sensation, it will push the uh, blood clump. When you put the blood clump, it can remove the stagnation of blood and stagnation of um, dampness and mucus. If the fibroid is inside of the uterus, you may have the chance to push it out. This is the way it actually, the fiber can fall off the uterus and came out. But it doesn't work while well, it can't fall off if the fiber is go on top of the, uh, um, in the outside of the uterus. It doesn't work that way. And that has to be absorbing. And it's much difficult to deal with. Okay. And <clears throat> doing OBGYN in this part, it can help string down the uh, um, uh, fibroid, okay? And the OBGYN over here is uh, a hormone balance as well. Female hormone balance points in there and meridians there. So it helps to balance the hormone, right? So when you're treating uh, fibroid, you're not just, you know, take care of, oh, I want to remove the fibroid, I want to remove the fibroid. And you think about what causing fibroid is the hormone imbalance. Okay, you want to balance the hormone. And OBGYN is one of the best strategy for hormone imbalance. Okay, so treating that, that. And you think about it, PCOS, hormone imbalance. We do this as well. Right. That, but if you come to Western medicine, it's different, totally different. The PCOS is about the male hormone increase and female hormone decrease and come to fibroid is the female hormone increase and male hormone de uh, decrease, right? And what happened in here is in Chinese medicine, we use the same strategy. We use the same strategy because we are not actually giving something to patient to replace the function. We are actually restoring the function. To restore the function, we use this strategy. Okay. So this is one of the strategy for acupuncture. What about Chinese herbs? Gui Zi Fu Ling Wan. One of the best. And what we've been saying about Gui Zi Fu Ling Wan for PCOS, right? Yes, that's right. Gui Zi Ling Fu Ling Wan for PCOS for fibroid. Use of both. Again, you see, fibroids, PCOS, why is that? Because they both form, cysts form, form uh, uh, cysts and fibroids form from um, mucus, for dampness, from uh, uh, blood stagnations. That's why we use squishy fully one. Then according to that patient, whether it's um, weak stomach or diarrhea, bloating a lot, and you on top of 
桂枝茯苓丸 ，you can add on 森林白柱散 ，you can add on 李中汤 ，to strong the spleen and stomach。Or if it's a、uh, uh, uh, kidney yang deficiency, you add on on ba wei di huang wan, right? Or if it's yin deficiency, you can add on what zi bo di huang wan, li wei di huang wan, something like that. So the herb is similar to that way, but I don't use this kind of herbs right now. I more go on and take the pulse and find out which pulse we need to. Focus, which pose are the strongest, or which pose are weakest, and then we treat it. The same as acupuncture. We balance the pose. Okay, so this is one of the strategy. If it come to pose diagnosis, I take the pose and I find okay, this patient has a、uh, weak、uh, pose of the uh, uh, stomach and spleen, are the weakest. Then I, when it is weakers, I choose Gui Zi Fu Ling Wan and Li Zhong Tang. And when we choose Li Zhong Tang, then what we do? We needle. We needle the mother point of the mother point of spleen and stomach. Okay. And we needle the mother point of spleen and stomach. What else can we needle? We can needle the heart and small intestine because heart small intestine is fire. Fire support earth, right? Earth weak, then we support the heart and small intestine. So we needle the mother point of heart and small intestine. That's it. Then we decrease the kidney and bladder because when the water Decrease and the earth and the fire will improve together. So we need all the sun point of kidney and bladder. That's it. This is another strategy according to the pose. So what causing fibroid? According to Chinese medicine, any organs can cause fibroid imbalance. It can cause the organs imbalance and do and lead to a hormone imbalance. Then, cause、uh, fibroid. Then, how do we know which one we 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 we、uh, we need to treat? And we go for asking the question. You get a lot of different answer, a lot of symptom conditions, and all the conditions related to all organs, a lot of different organs. And how do we treat it in here? We take the pulse. We find out which one out of balance the most, and then we treat it directly. We focus on that first. Does it mean if you treat the stomach and spleen、uh, now, and the next treatment or the next couple months, couple weeks, you only treat stomach and spleen? No, we change it. Why do we change it? We change it according to the body, according to the organs we balance. When the organs we balance to this stage, we change. We do some herbs and acupuncture to shoot this stage. When improve the other stage, we do we change the strategy. So we constantly change the strategy because of the organs is improving. Then we change the uh, 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 strategy. Right, the strategy change all the time. Right, but our goal. The strategy under the goal is actually removing and try to string down the fibroid. Are the same, right? So this is what we do. Happy days, ask、uh, us. Can one needle the back point on menstrual anemia here? And what is the name of the back point? Ba liao, ba liao is yes. But they'll use an OBGYN just like this one. But they'll use for any OBGYN cases. But they can use only any OBGYN cases. But, but when they when it's coming too much of period, like 
bleeding a lot, you don't use bileal. So in this cases, if patients are weak, then you don't use bileal. Bileal is very strong to push the blood out. If they're coming too much of blood, you don't use bileal. Or you use bileal with very light stimulation. Just put it in, don't twist the needle, don't give strong stimulation, then that's pretty okay. Yeah. It's all depend on, but bileal is like OBGYN. This for any OBGYN uh, cases. Does it make sense to you? Right. Let's say what well, we talk about uh, the spring wig, right? Now we, we use that and we can use Chinese herb for uh, uh, Li Zhong Tang plus Gui Zi Fu Ling Wan, right? What else can we do? If Li Zhong Tang and Gui Zi Fu Ling Wan, the same diagnosis of, um, the same diagnosis of uh, uh, spleen and stomach weak, then we use the, the Zhong Tang, right? If the Zhong Tang doesn't work very well, then what we do, we can do iron triangle strategy which is I just did that. Bileo is on, yeah, UV meridian. That's right, over here. It's all bileo in here. Bileo point. Um, so the iron triangle strategy is like this, okay? We can use herbs. Uh, so we use two point to improve tonic fine stomach and spleen, right? One point each meridian, right? Then we use two uh, uh, herbs. One is ginseng, one is uh, uh, ginger, right? That is for stomach and spleen. What about uh, using for uh, heart and small intestine, right? We use the mother point of heart, mother point of um, small intestine. Then when it comes to herbs, we can use Huang Nian and Xuan Fu Hua. That's it, you see? Four point, acupuncture point, four different herbs. And what about uh, kidney? Yeah, kidney. Kidney, we use the sun point of kidney and bladder, right? Then in herbs, we use Fu Ling and uh, Shen Di. You see, we use six different points to balance the pose, and then we use six different herbs to balance the pose to treat fibroid. So this is another strategy that I use it every day and often, and actually my first strategy for any of my kids. And that's another one that I can add on this if I wanted to. Right. But for you, it's the reason I show you this strategy, magical aid, OBGYN, is because it's not relying on pose. Right? You can just, wow, fibroid, there's OBGYN problem. You just put the needle in. So much simple, much simple. Right? But am I saying, I'm asking you, does it work for all of them? No. You need to test out. If it doesn't work as well, then you need to change your strategy. But this is the first part, uh, uh, point that you can use. For me, I can take the pose and I choose. And if if the pose can be balanced, then I keep going to do that. If the pose keep up and down, up and down, and uh, the patient uh, respond not very well, then I can change this strategy. So there are many other strategy. Okay. That's it for today. I hope you. Um, find this help okay uh, I have a very early uh, uh, appointment today at eight o'clock and now it's about uh, 25 uh, past seven then I should go to the clinic all right stay awesome and I'll see you tomorrow thank you very much see you bye bye and if you have any question please leave it down there otherwise I'll see you tomorrow um, okay thank you bye bye